told you about it. Certainly, you've probably seen it when you've gone to the store. The run on disinfectants and hand sanitizers. Yeah, when those cleaners in short supply, viewers have asked us if using DIY products, if that can actually work. So we sent Jesse to look into it. Jesse, what'd you find? Well, the good news here is coronaviruses are some of the easiest viruses to kill as long as you're using the right product and you're using that product in the right way. And while we have told you that Lysol and Clorox products are generally effective when it comes to killing the virus, there are some other products you might have right now that can also work. First off, soap and water gets the job done as good as anything else. The friction of rubbing surfaces can break coronavirus's protective envelope they have around them. If you have diluted bleach, that can also work. But be sure to make sure to wear gloves and use one-third cup of bleach for every gallon of water. Any cleaner with at least 70% alcohol should generally kill it. Hydrogen peroxide is effective in killing the common cold, which are harder viruses to kill. So it should work for coronaviruses too. Dr. Amy Edwards, an infectious disease doctor from University Hospital, says anything you do normally to keep your house healthy during flu season, you should just keep doing. There's no reason to do anything different. Um, the only thing that I will say about all of the commercial cleaners and even the non-commercial cleaners or the, the more natural cleaners, you do need to very carefully read the directions because some of them will say that your surface needs to be, remain wet for four minutes or for five minutes or for eight minutes before you can consider it disinfected. And if you are making at home hand sanitizers, they should be at least 60% alcohol, but experts say it can be tricky to get that percentage right at home. So Dr. Edwards says your best bet here is just to continue to wash your hands thoroughly and frequently. Katie, Oma, 